My name is Devin Austin. I'm DHOS on IRC. Uh, I did Google Summer of Code this past summer. Um, <clears throat> a little bit of background on me. I'm a college student. I've got two semesters left. I uh, currently do uh, IT consultation for a company called Ion Zero, and uh, I like long walks on the beach. So. Um, <laughs> Google Summer of Code is a grant that Google gives out every summer uh, to selected students um, working on an open source project. Uh, they select from a list. The, the list is pretty massive, so it doesn't look very select. Um, college students around the world, uh, I mean, there's students from India, China, Japan, Norway, I mean, pretty much every major country in the world had uh, student representatives. Um, anyone from, I don't know if we had any freshmen this year, but there was definitely sophomores up to PhD students uh, doing work on all sorts of projects from MySQL stuff to um, pretty insane uh, uh, AI stuff. Um, in order to be qualified, you have to actually be a student. Uh, they ask for some sort of transcript. Um, I think I sent in a photocopy of my ID, so just to prove that you know, you're going to school. Um, like I said, it takes place all over the world, uh, and it, it, what, it, that's what makes it such a special program: is you're in contact with all these students from all over the world, and they're all they're all just people. You know, cultural uh, language barriers aren't really there because I mean everybody pretty much speaks English and everyone has the same interests. Um, so, in order to fulfill the particip participation requirements, uh, you have to submit your final draft by the deadline, which is usually somewhere early in April. Uh, mentors usually get you working on it well before then. I do many iterations over it with you. Uh, decision is announced, I think this year was announced around April 16th or some such, and um, then you pretty much have about two weeks of, uh, if you're smart, you get your code checked out and you start reviewing it and get familiarized with everything um, so you can really start getting ahead of the curve. Um, interested students should probably get started uh, as soon as they hear. So if you're here too late in the summer, you should start looking at doing it the next year and get prepared right away. Um, lots of organizations have ideas for lots of projects. There was, Pearl Foundation had everything from GFD to, uh, I think uh, I think Mojo even had one in there. Uh, all sorts, all sorts of stuff to work on um, in all of these uh, projects. And you students want to do this because uh, it's, you're getting paid to learn how, how to uh, approach professional um, programming scenarios. Uh, you're not only in the field, knee deep in code with uh, senior level uh, programmers, you're, uh, you're, you're learning <coughs> things that are uh, being used every single day by these people, uh, subversion, Git, uh, whatever they happen to use for uh, VCS and whatnot. Um, you're pretty much spoon-fed this stuff, so there there's a bit of a there's a bit of a learning curve still, but you're still you still get a lot of support, and you're doing a lot of networking. Uh, I actually uh, it really got my name out there uh, after doing this uh, during it, actually, uh, and I think it really helped me personally. Uh, get into the job field. So it's it's a really, really good thing to do when you're looking for networking. Um, a lot of colleges also will provide you with field study credits. Uh, I've heard of up to like 15 credits for uh, Google Summer of Code. Basically, you need to apply, uh, go on the website. I mean, we all know how to go on the website and fill out a form. It's uh, the URL that's on this shirt and that was on the main slide is code.google.com. Uh, backslash SOC, and uh, when the registration form is up, you sign up, and uh, 
you begin the enrollment process. We're going to get accepted. You write your uh, proposal with your mentor, and um, it's it's up to them to be accepted. Uh, there's certainly a uh, feeling of terror when you first get accepted if you haven't done a whole lot of uh, large code base, uh, many contributor type projects, and uh, you need to just remember that your mentors are there for you, you have a whole community backing you, and you're kind of the, uh, uh, kind of the superhero for the time because you're picking up a project that uh, you basically have a contractual obligation to fulfill, otherwise you don't get paid. Um, so they're really going to help you out. You're not alone. Uh, you're, got, you, you're going to do well. Uh, one of the funny uh, bits of this is everyone, everyone's enrolled in this grant. It's a big deal. And they start writing in about these little books they got. Nobody knew what they were. They're little books about that big with Google on them. No, no documentation whatsoever. Um, it was just, it's just really funny. One of the, one of the little quirks uh, that you notice in these types of things. We're in a pretty elite group of Google accepted students. We're getting paid for this, and uh, talking about a little green book we got. Um, you get your initial checkout, uh, whatever version control you're using. I happen to use subversion because that's what the uh, Catalyst repository was in at the time. Uh, you do the preliminary glancing over the code. You probably realize you don't have any idea what 90% of it's doing. And you naturally sob and try and rock yourself to sleep. Got your element. Probably entering a world of pain. But as I said, your community and mentor have your back. And they will support you. So you start developing on the code base. And by developing, I mean you're writing tests to make sure all the yak shaving you've done in the past three days uh, since getting your checkout hasn't broken everything completely. What's yak shaving? Oh, yak shaving is a, it's a term that basically you're shaving, shaving a yak, it's necessary, but it doesn't get anywhere. That makes any sense. Kind of like set up? Basically, you have to get through all the cruft before you can actually get anywhere in the uh, development. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so yak shaving is kind of uh, tedious work that you have to do to get to the actual development. Uh, you, you're going to probably end up doing a lot of that in the very beginning. Uh, lots of testing, lots and lots of testing, and then you find out your code actually works. You've got your code uh, submitted, you're happy, and you find out that you have phase two coming along. So you do these design talks, figure out what needs to be done. Don't necessarily understand it the first iteration, so you go over it again, and again, and again. And you finally uh, set out an RFC with a direction. And in my case, I got no feedback, other than that sounds good. And uh, you finally commit to one direction, and then finalize this portion of the API, uh, get some reviews, and write some more tests. And you've learned a lot. You're a couple weeks in, and you're like, wow, I've experienced a subversion. I've done testing, which I don't think anybody, until they really get into a professional field, has done a whole lot of testing, uh, voluntarily at least. Uh, midpoint comes along. Your mentor asks you how you feel about your code, how much progress you feel you've made, are you above, below, or where do you think you should be um, progress-wise? And uh, how do you feel you've gained, how much do you feel you've gained, and uh, how have I been as a mentor? And you talk to the mailing list or IRC, uh, IRC channel about how they feel your progress is going, and just collect all this feedback that's coming in, and uh, try and take it in and triage it out. Um, so you have yet another new phase, and at this point you're probably at a level where you're actually adding new things to the API. You have a lot more tests to write. Um, there's failures because you're writing new things that haven't been uh, around to be unbroken yet. 
And so basically you get into a cycle where you write about a line of code, four tests, a line of code, four tests. And occasionally, you know, you take in email from others and fix their stuff. So uh, coming down to this, this is uh, about two-thirds of the way through my project. And I'm sure a lot of the other students experience this. You spend about a week looking for a little bug. You've got one test that won't pass. You spend about a week looking for this bug, and you find out that you switch the P switch uh, to the, the to the L switch for some god awful reason, probably because you cut and paste the uh, development code, the development server code, into the fast CGI script. But that wasn't me. Um, oops. So uh, you begin to think it's Google Summer tests. <laughs> More tests. Uh, only a few weeks left, and yes, you have to write more tests. Uh, you really try and put your nose to the grindstone at this point because people are hoping they're going to have a whole new shiny API to play with and uh, that you're going to write a lot of documentation for it. Uh, you get about a week <laughs> out, and you realize that X, Y, and Z aren't going to be implemented, and you might get a little nervous. Well, you come to the conclusion you're three days out, and you're like, well, this flat out is not going to get implemented. So you decide to finalize what test coverage you have, um, wrap up the API you have, and the one big thing you have to do is uh, tarball up all your code and send it off to Google for their lawyers. Um, so the final uh, point of triage is hoping and praying that everything is wrapped up to a point that your mentor is going to be happy and you have a feasible test case for everything. Uh, your mentor has a, a conference with you for their final evaluation. Um, usually that's, uh, are you done? Uh, might be a little more verbose than that, but that was about the extent of mine. And uh, they, you fill out a form, and uh, actually they, uh, they fill out a form about you, uh, telling how you did, how they felt you did, um, a general evaluation, and you do the exact same thing for them. Um, tell them how you, how you felt they helped you, how much you thought you'd grown since the beginning, um, pros, cons, uh, that sort of thing. Submit your code to Google, like I said, for their lawyers. And sadly, they don't have a hundred uh, code monkeys to run around to evaluate all your code, but they need some semblance of a, uh, a physical evidence that you actually did this. Um, so you have about two weeks, probably, after it ends. Uh, to find out whether you actually pass or not. Unless you're like me and you ask your mentor and they tell you, yeah, you pass. Um, most mentors, as long as you've put in a good amount of work, they've seen you've grown, and uh, you know, you, you've done your best, whether you've actually finished or not, they're, they're not going to throw you under the bus. <clears throat> Especially when you were given an open-ended task that we didn't know how long it would take, so we basically invented enough tasks for somewhere between one and a half and two summer of codes, exactly. and saw how far we got. Exactly. Um, so, uh, conclusion, in conclusion, you have a, a massive knowledge increase, and uh, professional level uh, field work experience. Uh, you've, I mean, I worked with uh, Mr. Trout here, I worked with... Uh, Mr. <laughs> 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 I worked with uh, quite a few uh, senior level uh, programmers, and uh, lots of networking. I met uh, just through IRC alone, and just through uh, my work alone, and the fact that my name was on this Google Summer of Code project, uh, I met a lot of people. You get four and a half grand cold hard cash straight from the Google Flex. Um, 500 of it goes to your um, mentoring uh, foundation. And uh, so that's, that's really good, I mean, because they can do a lot with that. So, and then you have the confidence, assurance, and uh, feeling that you've helped out an open source project and really helped them get a solid foundation for this uh, neglected code base that you picked up. Uh, so looking back, you've learned a lot. You may, have, may not have met 100% of your goals, but you've given the community a great base to go off of, so when you're slacking, they can pick up uh, the pace. And you're used to being yelled at by now, so I mean, <laughs> your abuse tolerance has gone up already. So, uh, good software is never complete, and that's it. What was that last uh, word there? 
It's a uh, it's an old <laughs> meme. Okay. It continues to exist entirely and only because it really pisses Boo off. Exactly. So mm -hmm. that uh, is the entirety of my presentation.